data science or uh, artificial intelligence these are extremely important components of this revolution uh, children learn better by doing a little bit of structure is needed for the child to actually make real progress hello everyone my name is ashwini daj gupta i'm a faculty at chinta.com in this video we will talk about how to teach computer science to young students especially in higher elementary school or middle school we use an approach called constructionist approach well a bit of constructionist approach and a bit of constructivism so i i'll i'll share with you what those things mean and how they can be actually used to teach computer science the constructionist approach was first proposed by an american computer scientist called seymour papert in his seminal book mind storms you can definitely go ahead and read it it's a very beautiful short book uh, especially good for parents and teachers so what essentially it says is uh, children learn better by doing like physically creating and uh, a software or physically creating a model so this is something that we all know sort of intuitively but papers book more precisely put together the elements of it so we use this constructionist approach in our computer science program and even if you are not enrolled you can definitely use it so this is how it goes firstly we use certain tools like scratch arduino to have the kids make something using principles of computer science these are necessarily algorithms that they can use or certain techniques like looping or recursive methods and so on these things scratch or arduino or alice alice is another option they offer a very easy entry to the process and as a constructionist would do they offer a way to learn those principles by doing so that's the first part in the curriculum whatever curriculum you're working on the first part should be this constructionist element which involves scratch or arduino or alice now comes the second part which is the constructivism so constructivism and constructionism they sound very similar but they're a little bit different so how they how they differ is like this constructivism also wants the students to learn by doing but more of that is in the mind so it's an intellectual act of doing okay so maybe they solve a, an actual problem they are very different from listening to a lecture so that's how they differ from regular rote learning or regular like classroom format even when you are doing a problem when you are doing an algorithmic problem you are actually solving something you are making something only it's intellectual in nature it's not a game that you could make in scratch or it's not a model or a physical robot that you can make using raspberry pi or arduino or something like that but it's a more intellectual exercise that's what constructivism you know pushes us toward and that's a very important component a little bit of structure is needed for the child to actually make real progress so what we do is we introduce pseudo codes pseudo codes or at a higher level we also use c c programming language to reiterate those principles that they used in scratch that they used in arduino that they used in raspberry pi and so on so let's say a particular child is learning about for loop they would do it in the domain of scratch while they are building a game maybe and then they would also do it in some number theory problem uh, using c programming so both of these ways of looking at the same concept that is very important but there is a third and the final component which is also a constructionist approach we introduce how to tell stories using data uh we are living in the 21st century we it, 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 actually we are living through 
our technological revolution so it's it's only makes sense to make use of those findings and help children to learn about the world around us and data science or uh, artificial intelligence these are extremely important components of this revolution so what do we do well essentially we teach the children to identify stories using data so i give you one example and a lot of data is freely available kaggle is a very good resource for this you can definitely look at it a recent problem that we uh, were doing in the class was like this that we have a huge database of the salaries and wages in new york in 2014 2015 2016 and 2017 it's an available data set now one thing that we ask the children is can you tell by analyzing the data can you tell did the wages rise in new york from 2014 2017 and if it did what was the yearly rate of entry increase so that requires a little bit of data cleaning and data crunching and then can you compare it with the inflation rate in us in that time so if the salary increase is lower than the in inflation then of course there is a an effective salary decrease that is a story that is hidden inside the data it's not directly related to computer science but it uses a lot of tools from mathematics a lot of reasoning abilities that the students must apply and so on and it brings them closer to the world so it's like a real world problem it builds a research mindset as well so these are the three areas that we think should be used in an effective computer science curriculum in the middle school or or late elementary school first one is constructionist approach scratch arduino raspberry pi alice and so on second one is a constructivist approach using pseudo codes c programming to solve actual problems which require a lot of thinking a third one is finding stories in data so it's a lot of fun actually and it's a new way to think about The, how to make machines work so uh, i hope you you know uh, figured out some of the parts that we are trying to use and you, maybe you can use those principles while you are teaching your children or your students as well if you want to know more about our computer science programs check the link in the description uh, we are very passionate about mathematical sciences and once they start on this journey they slowly go towards some of the computer science competition competitions like zio zco useco and so on and they can also go into research school research which is very very interesting thank you for watching uh if you want more information about chinta go to the link in the description i'm sure you'll find something useful take care and bye